unboxing video. What's up you guys? Thank you for tuning in to this edition of The Collector Side. I am your humble host, The Collector. Welcome. And today I am going to be finally, finally, finally unboxing my Hot Toys 1-6 scale Batman vs. Superman Battle Damage Armored Batman from Sideshow's exclusive Battle Damage Batman from Batman vs. Superman. I have had this for way too long. I'm, I have not opened it. It is unopened. And I'm going to unbox it. I'm very excited to see what's in here, how it looks. I have not yet seen this figure in person. I've only seen the photos. And so I'm really excited to get in there and see what's in here. So without further ado, my trusty little blue scissor. I'm gonna get this open. And let's see what we got. To shipper. Okay, is that upside down? Or is it up? Oh yeah, here we go. The Armored Batman Battle Damage version, the Sideshow exclusive Hot Toys Batman vs. Superman figure. Oh yeah. Soon we're gonna be. I even like to be careful when I'm taking the tape off the plastic. I don't know if you guys are as weird about that as I am. Not like it matters, because half the time the tape gets messed up when you open the bag. I try to be careful, just because I like it when it's in the bag. Okay, let's see. Really nice box. Armored Batman. Each for the packaging. Okay, bottom and top. This was sort of like a half box. See the angle here where it opens, like this. And then we've got the flap here with all of the creative geniuses behind all of these different figures. I love when they do this. You know, we've got to give up, give it up to the to the artist. Let's show that off a second. Mm -hmm. uh, let's see. There you go. Okay. So very talented bunch of people. Woo, doggy! Look at this. Oh, here we go. Armor Batfleck. Now, what's the deal here? Now, I guess they've just announced casting for the new Batman film. And so I guess we would be having uh, our Pat Bat instead of, uh, you know, instead of Batfleck, right? Our Pat Bat. Not bad. Not a bad choice. All right, let's see. Let's just do the plop. All right, we got the cape back here. minute but here we've got the figure let's start getting in tune with what we've got here so we've got our um as usual we've got our wrist pegs we've got a pack of batteries uh we have got the grappling hook we've got the rocket or grenade launcher we've got two hands on the figure one two three pairs of hands plus one additional hand we have the spear and I'm just gonna leave those accessories in the box for now. I mean, in their little tray. But just to give you the breakdown, as you can, so you can see it, we've got the spear. Now the spear looks like takes the batteries and lights up, which is pretty cool. But I'm not gonna go setting that up now. And I believe the eye lights up for the Batman armored helmet. Now let's get them open. Oh. Get a little bit closer look at the armored Batman. Okay, got the instructions. Now, as always, please make sure on the Hot Toy figures that you read the instructions when you're gonna pose them. And I'm gonna do a full figure review as a separate video, as well as a posing video for this guy. Um, but you just, you wanna be careful. There are limitations to the figures when you're gonna pose them, especially in dynamic poses. Make sure you read the instructions. Do it slowly and carefully so you can test the limitations of the joints, of the flexibility and range of motion of the figure. You don't want to break anything on these because 
you know, let's face it, not all of us pick up our hot toy figures from Sideshow directly or from a specific online retailer like um, Big Bad Toy Store um, where you can deal with somebody to do a return or an exchange. It's not that simple sometimes, so just be careful, okay? <laughs> be careful. Ah, oh, here we go. And Batfleck. Oh, see right off the bat his hand popped out. Uh, I just realized that. But the joint's not broken, so I guess maybe it just wasn't attached in the first place. So let's just put that hand back on. <laughs> That's pretty funny that that happened. Let's see. Just gotta do it carefully. See, that's what I said about being careful. Now the weird thing is I didn't touch the hand, it just kind of fell off. So I'm guessing it wasn't really attached that well to begin with. See now right off the bat, and, and it's been a while, I've had this for such a long time, but um, it looks like it's just uh, having an issue. The pe wrist peg's a little loose. Sometimes, you know, honestly I've had that happen once or twice before where something is very loose. When you use one of the replacement wrist pegs, um, it tends to work itself out. So, let's see what we got. So now, here you go. We've got Batman. Ooh, look at that. It's very cool. Now, I don't know if the light, if the eye actually lights up. That I'm not sure. It looks like it does. It looks like it does. So I'll have to figure that out carefully. I don't want to go messing too much with it. I'm going to check the instructions. But either way, really nice, really nice figure. Nice detailing like the cape. Let's see, what are your limitations, Batfleck? Okay, got a little resistance in the shoulder. Let's say that's probably about as much as he can do. You know, up that high, like that. Um, range of motion for what it is because there's there are a lot of restrictions here because of the armor oh yeah see that has a nice little pop to it nice little pop to it it's got some you know fabric with bat butt look at the bat butt that is an extreme bat butt wow he is doing isogenics <laughs> holy cow all right <laughs> if this is in any way shape or form real scan from Batfleck himself, bravo, Ben Affleck. Okay, that is, talk about buns of steel. All right, anyway. Yeah, see like that, my only gripe so far is this particular hand is having some issues getting into its peg. And I don't wanna break it. I think it's just not popping in all the way. There we go, I think I got it. I got it, I got it. It just didn't pop in all the way. So, yeah, this hand, this hand too is not in all the way. I guess maybe it's just a, lo a loose, it looks like the socket for the, where the peg fits into the hands are kind of loose. At least for, this is what's coming right out of the box. I haven't checked on any of the other pieces, but this is basically what you get here. You got Batfleck, you've got the tray here that has his grenade launchers, his grappling hook, got the batteries, the extra pegs. Got the light up spear, his helmet that lights up, nice cape, nice detailing. Uh, in the tray here, you've got the base stand, which I'll take out because I think in my, oops, I bumped the table again, set him up right there. Now, in my opinion, the Batman versus Superman display bases are some of the nicest I've seen in terms of the plate and how it looks. I love this base stand. I absolutely love it. I love that this logo pops out like that. It looks like it's been burnt. I think it's just really nicely done. And what is also nice about it is we've got our nice pole that screws into the base. 
for jumping poses as well as standing poses. And I'm looking for the clip here. I don't know that I see the clip anywhere. There it is. The clip is somewhere. What the? That's different. Oh, funky. So that's all you get for the clip? Hmm. All right, so this isn't your typical clip. I, I mean, this is my first figure of this kind, so I haven't actually seen this before. But I don't have a screwdriver to loosen that up. I'm guessing that this is for the crotch. <laughs> so like, you know, you lower that down and he kind of stands, you know, it's crotch support, I guess. It's not bad crotch support. But if you have an extra clamp, it uh, looks like you can probably use a clamp. I, I have, I may have one over there, but um, that's all I see that it comes with. So you got the hands in the tray there. That's pretty much it. That's your armored Batman. So, ta-da! And I guess you can just sort of take that off, but figure out that later. There you go. Batman. Pretty nice. And I got something in my eye. Oh. <laughs> anyway, so that's it. That is the Armored Batman Battle Damage exclusive version from Sideshow, Sideshow Collectibles. And um, it is just, it's a nice figure, I gotta say. It's a very nice figure. Um, I will be doing a full figure review to explore the articulation. Obviously, give me a chance to read the instructions a little bit more, figure out some of the bits and pieces. And if any of you have any suggestions on this before I read the instructions, feel free to put it in the comment um, section below. But, uh, you know, I mean, I can kind of see where like it comes into play here as sort of crotch support. I guess that's where it makes the most sense. Um, I'll loosen up the screw here so that I can slide it down and, you know, try to get him in a pose. Let's see if that helps. Gotta get it a little bit lower. But otherwise, I would probably prefer, in my opinion, the regular edition of Batman as opposed to the armor battle damage version. But this was the one that I was fortunate enough to get. And it's not bad. I got it, you know, it's it is what it is. It's not bad. I'm lower that down a little more. And there we go. Crotch support. Nice range of motion. Whoop. Take that off. See, the hands are very loose on their pegs, but I'm sure that's not a big deal. That's what you want to get a little further into it. But that's that. So. Thank you very much for tuning in and watching this edition of The Collector Side. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Please make sure you like, share, subscribe, whatever it is you want to do. This is what comes with Batman in a nutshell as far as the Armored Edition goes. And uh, he's got the battle damage here, here. The helmet is broken, as you can see. He's got all kinds of scratches and stuff. Really nice paint applications. Solid figure. So hit that subscribe button, hit that bell, so you can make sure to be notified when I put on new videos to my channel. Thank you all for watching. Make sure you hit that subscribe button. Find me on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. And uh, take care, keep calm, pose on, happy collecting, and I will see you guys next time.